Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review Tim Burton's iconic Batman. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification to put out videos every single day. You can also find me over Twitter and Instagram at Movie Guy 365. It's finally here. Tim Burton's Batman was it's pretty much known now as Batman 89. Uh, <laughs> I could tell you so many stories involving this film that, you know, for me being, you know, 12, 13, just wanting to go see this one in the worst, worst way, I couldn't wait for it. And I, I've seen it countless times. I, it's one of my favorite films. And I still maintain it's probably one of the better Batman comic book films. You know, we can, we can have, you know, arguments and debates all day about The Dark Knight and, and Nolan's Batman films. But as far as like comic books to the screen, I think Batman 89 probably has done it better than any other movie. It's it's just right up there. It really is as far as all time comic book movies in my opinion. It is one of the best movies in that category. And I mean, I feel Michael Keaton was a great Batman, a great Bruce Wayne. I think it's one of the rare instances where he, he did good at both. You know, I feel that other Batmans, you know, have done one better than the other. I think Michael Keaton would be, you know, just an all-encompassing good Batman slash Bruce Wayne. I love this movie, as I can tell. Um, so, Warner Brothers has given us all four movies in 4K. Now, there is a Steelbook uh, box set expected later this year. It's uh, going to be debuting in September. But I'm more, I've always been more of a... I like my releases individual. I don't know. I just I like it that way. It's neater in my collection. But I couldn't wait. I wanted to get this. Now, of course, we have the... God awful covers. They're, they are not the best. The art department at Warner Brothers should really rethink who they're getting to do these. But it's got a nice little shimmer to it, as you can probably tell in the, th in the thing. And on, there you go on the back. So, how does it look? HDR, I feel look. I feel looks really, really good. It's strong. This is a dark movie, so those blacks are just you know what are all encompassing at, at any given time. There's a fine amount of detail. Jack Nicholson as the Joker, you know, when you see him as the Joker, the details on his face are really, really well done. You see things you have never seen before, at least since the theatrical run. So much detail. It's a nice splash of HDR color here and there. But as I mentioned, detail and uh, black levels are prominent in this film. Looks, looks utterly fantastic. I could, you know, I just, I'm very pleased with it. It took me back to when I saw it theatrically, honestly. It just, it looked that, that good. Uh, so, how does the audio sound? Now, this is going to probably be the thing that a few people are going to have a problem with. We are given a nice Atmos track. It is a newly remastered Atmos track. They have also supplemented the sound effects that were not previously, like, that were just not as good in the original track. Uh, the the default audio is set to this uh, at most. Now, for purists like me or like me, you're not going to be given the original track in here, which I feel is very very unfortunate. So, if you want to, you want the original track as it was heard theatrically. Your best bet is to hold on to that Blu-ray you currently have, because you do not have that option in this disc. But in my opinion, I feel the Atmos track is very well done. It's very immersive. There's a lot going on. It's almost as I remember it. It really is like in the theatrical experience that good. Overheads are used quite frequently. You know, any any kind of rummaging around in the city, Gotham, Gotham itself is a character in this movie. And you hear the things like whisking in the background, that kind of, you know, sounds and trash cans and that kind of thing. It's, it's an excellent track in my opinion. But as a purist, I would have liked the original included. It's a shame we don't get that. But, you know, you got you to gotta wonder how much of it is important to you. I feel that the picture quality alone is worth the upgrade. I enjoy the audio, but if, if you are one of those people that just want everything as it was before, you might be a little disappointed that way. But I feel it is an excellent, excellent upgrade. I highly recommend you pick it up. Batman 89, come on. This is, in my opinion, the quintessential Batman film. To this day, it still hasn't been beaten, but I love it. I, I think it's worth picking up. So let me know in the comments below, what did you think of Batman 89 and 4K? In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.